Okay, so we just finished our leg workout. Now we're gonna do our arm workout, which is gonna be so fun. This is crazy tangled. Ready? I'm a little hectic, so we're gonna do this for a minute. We're just gonna arm circles to help us warm up. This sucks. But I bet you can do this for a minute if you talk to me while you do it. So like, tell me how your day is going. Drop your shoulders. Imagine the scene from the notebook where she's like, if you're a bird, I'm a bird. Imagine flying away from this place, covered in snow, and switch directions. We're more than halfway there. You probably look way better than I do right now since I just finished your other workout. I suggest you don't do them back to back. And we're done. Next, we're gonna do elbow raises. So we're gonna do four sets of 10. You're gonna hug your elbows in as close as you can. It's gonna be kind of awkward. If you have to go higher, you have to go higher. All just depends on what the Lord gave us. Together and then all the way up to your nose or higher. There's 10. My arms kind of are telling me that this is hard. Let's do three more sets of 10. When we're standing here, we do want to make sure that this pelvis is tucked in this way. So tuck that pelvis in, be a gem. Okay, we're gonna do one more set together, but kind of just like let your arm cramps subside for a second. Take a sip of water if you want to. <sighs> Ready, begin. There was the 10th one. So now we are going to do jab cross uppercut. We're gonna do one minute on that. So we're gonna go, I'm standing on my left leg. I'm gonna go right, left, up. I don't even have to wear blush today. I hope you're playing really awesome music for this. OK, 
Okay, switch legs, switch arms. So now that I'm on my right leg forward, I'm gonna go left, right, left. Keep going. Okay, now I want you to grab a band. So I have this nifty band. I'm gonna step on the middle of it and then we're gonna do a curl. Once we've come into this curl, we'll wait a minute. And then we go all the way up. While we're doing that, <laughs> don't let our body do this. We wanna keep tucked. So tuck, curl. Oh look, we're still tucked all the way up, back down. We're gonna do four sets of 10, actually three sets of 10. I don't want you to do one fluid movement. I want you to do a curl and then up. There's 10. So that whole time you want to tuck that pelvis. I'm going to do a set this way. Let's go. If you don't have bands, you can still do this with weights. There's 10, and then our last set, I am gonna do with a weight instead, just to see what the difference feels like for my body. There's our curl, and then up. And when you're doing this, I don't want you to go full range, so I'm going here, and then I'm going to here. One more. Okay. I'm glad I only did three sets of 10 because I would have died if I didn't. But like, go us. <sighs> now we're gonna do our weighted ab thrusts. And I have on here three sets of 10. I just want you to know you can down your weight if you need to. So I'm gonna start with this heavy weight to show you but I'm gonna actually down my weight. 
so again, we are tucking our pelvis and we are keeping our core engaged. We are lifting right, left, down. All right. So I'm going to go to my lighter weights because I can feel my shoulder blades hurting. And you always have to check in with your body. Like, can I keep my shoulders up and down? No, I need to go down a weight. And then if you go down a weight and it's too easy, go faster. Here's one set, evaluate how you feel. Is that too hard? Is that too easy? <gasps> Are you tugging your pelvis? Are you yawning? <sighs> Keep going. Keep going. Okay, we're gonna do our last set together here. Make sure your pelvis is tucked. Okay, get a sip of water, get a little drinky drink. You're gonna be okay. Okay, we're gonna do some um, bent over rows. So again, I'm just going to have my little weights here. I'm going to bend here, come here, and just do shoulder squeezes. So we're really working on bringing the elbows completely back towards the wall behind us and squeezing our shoulder blades together. Eleven. Stop. <laughs> You're going to do three more sets. Are you ready? That was another set, so we're gonna do two more. There's another set, one more set. Here's your 10th. Take a little rest. Take a little sippy sip of water. Do it. Okay, 
Our next thing is going to be side to side. So you need two weights of equal, equal weight. I have 215 on either side of me. I'll back up so you can see my shoulders are up and back, but my pelvis is tucked. You're going to let one drop to your knee. Well, you're just going to want let one drop and then come back up, go to the other side. That equals one. We're going to do 40. take a rest and start your next. Okay, next. Okay, one more set. Set those down for a minute. Take a sip of water. It's important. Your hands probably hurt a little bit. I know mine do. Next, we're going to do a really functional activity. I had something harder planned, but we hate doing hard things, so we're not going to do them because life sucks already. Okay, for two minutes, we're gonna do something called Burma Carry. So you're gonna pick your weights back up. That's kind of why I like candles. We're literally just walking for two minutes, like anywhere, we're just walking. Walking with good posture, so keeping our core engaged. <laughs> keeping our core engaged, keeping our shoulders down and back. How's the weather? It's kind of crazy how 30 pounds feels like a lot when you're doing a farmer carry. And you probably carry so much more than this throughout the day, but this position strengthens your muscles in a way that you actually use them all the time. Don't drop the weight. Don't drop the groceries. I want you to be using your heaviest weights. I, you can drop those now. Oh, it's like that doorway effect where your hands feel like they're now flying. Um, it's great. We have one last hard move. So I want you to grab 
a ball if you have it, like a kickball. And I want you to grab a yoga block or a thick pillow. I'm going to move you to the floor. Welcome to my floor. I can move these out of the way now. Okay. We're going to come down onto the ground. We're going to put the block between our legs. So my block is this way. So the fattest part of my block is between my legs. I'm going to bring my legs up and to a 90 degrees. So they're going to be squeezing this block so that it doesn't fall that much. You don't need to squeeze into it very hard, just enough so that the block does not fall. You also want your pelvis into the ground. Then I am going to push the ball against my left leg go. We're going to hold this and keep, keep that lower back into the ground. Keep going. You got this. Keep going. Pushing this ball into this knee. Don't let the block drop. Keep going. You're like halfway there. Don't let, don't let your back come up off the ground at all. There's no space for someone to put their fingers underneath your back right now. Absolutely no space. Ten more seconds. Your core is probably on fire. Push it into the ground. Push, 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 push. Done. Take a tiny break. If I were to put a stretchy band underneath your back and pull, I would not want that stretchy band to go. Like I wouldn't want it to come out from underneath you. All right. Come back into that position where you're not letting this block fall. Now you're going to put the ball on your right side and try and make that into a 90 degrees and we are going to go push that lower back into the ground. See, now I'm shaking. Push, push, push and push into this ball. Push, push, push. Okay, take a little rest. Go. Push into the ground, push into the ground. Fifteen more seconds. Push, 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 push. No space here, no space. Keep at 90 degrees. And you're done. Okay, well, since you made it, <laughs> we're gonna go into Cobra now and stretch everything that we just majorly made work. So hold on just a minute. We're gonna hold this for about one minute. Pushing kind of our hips into the ground to really maximize that stretch. come into a seated position. Sit on your right hand and then take your left hand and gently guide 
your left ear towards your left shoulder just until you feel a stretch in your shoulder here. so that our nose is towards our left armpit. You should have a double chin right now. Come on out. Now we're going to take our left hand, sit on it, and we're just going to stretch this side until we feel a little bit of a stretch. And then look at that right armpit. if you have two yoga blocks, but this is the same thing that we've been doing on the back of the chair. I'm just literally too lazy to pull the chair into the shot. So about hip width apart. I am literally just bringing my face between these two, pushing my body down into the ground. Come back up. Thanks for working out today.